You know, there's some hot takes out there from some people that absolutely just baffle me at how they arrive at it. For instance, how anyone in their right mind could ever say that Michael Vick was a better quarterback than Tom Brady. You need professional help on multiple fronts. Then there's other people out there who say that... Uh, Say that, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, it was a, oh yeah, Tiki Barber was a better running back than Marshawn Lynch. I'm sorry, I think Tiki might be missing a specific piece of jewelry that uh, determines uh, who the better running back is overall. And then, of course, there's gaming hot takes, which there are way too many of them. Including several nowadays that just completely cause brain rot amongst the masses. I know there's a few out there that just I, I couldn't believe when I heard of, you know, like Zelda like Zelda is like like the Legend of Zelda promotes white supremacy. I'm like Huh? There's a whole <clears throat> Christian YouTube channel that talks about how like most video games and stuff are actually satanic. Including uh, uh, flipping it that, oh, in most of these games, the bad guy is actually the good guy because the bad guy is supposed to be representative of Christ. Including Ganondorf is one of the ones they cited as being that. How? Okay, look. Because they're brain dead. Uh, there's several that I can see is like, you know, people... You know, for instance, the funniest one that I can think of is Mick Gordon. Uh, when he was... When he... Uh, had these uh, had the idea to take a spectrograph and program audio cues of like droning audio cues in that were spectrographed out to be six 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 with a pentagram over top. Mm -hmm. Now here's the thing. He did that, and he didn't think anything of it. He was just like he was just like like I just figured it'd be a fun little Easter egg if you know. Maybe years down the line, someone will crack the game open and run the audio through a spectrograph and find that on there. Lo and behold, literally within a week of the game's release, there was this guy just like, just like, the devil is in your video games, as evidence here. Right there, that pretty much sums it up. Um, yeah, 666 six, six and the, the pentagram up top. That's uh, that's proof right there uh, that that the devil lives in your video games. And then Mick Gordon was just like, "I'm surprised you found it that fast." <laughs> but I'm also equally surprised that you didn't find this little nugget. And he basically takes this one uh, section of a. Uh, it, it sounds like a a demon, just like just like, ah, shit. you know. Speaking like a like a like a demonic language, like Sumerian or something like that. Then they played it backwards. Jesus loves you. <laughs> and he said, I saw about ten thousand articles about the six six six. You know how many articles I saw about that? None. Fucking none. I'm disappointed in you, Christians. <laughs> and right and honestly, dude, that, that People always read too much into shit sometimes and make up make up their own little story in their mind that fits their way of thinking instead of, oh gee, I don't know, looking at everything through nuance and looking at everything through a fixed point of view that, you know, you, you literally just have to be brain dead beyond all comprehension to believe some of these hot takes. And I have a bad feeling about this video, by the way. It's 30 minutes long. With 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, probably 9 chapters. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be here for like an hour or two. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'll try and cap what I have to say. Anytime something makes us mad, like we go off for a while. Yes, we do. But I will try and contain myself i will fail but i will try to contain myself what's up everybody 
This is the act man here, and today I'm going to fry your brain with even more terrible gaming hot takes. So come on down fry. to the barbecue. Oh shit! Given the immense popularity <laughs> of the Wait a second. Oh god. Barbecue. Oh shit! Given the immense popularity of the GTA series and its controversial nature, there's always a lot of hoopla surrounding a new Grand Theft Auto. It took 75 years and countless billions of dollars to train our soldiers to kill. Today, 60 bucks buys your kid the same thing. Whatever happened to Pong? Shut the fuck up, Glenn Beck. Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm sorry. Don't you have another secretary to sexually harass? Don't you have another don't you have another executive board member of like Rupert Murdoch's to fillet? Jesus Christ. Luckily, the reveal of GTA 6 was no exception. Every gremlin and ghoul, every ghost and goblin came out of their dungeons to give their take on it. Now, before we dive into some of the controversies surrounding GTA 6, I wanted to check back in on the console fanboys and see how the console war is going. I'd rather smoke meth than play Xbox. Oh wait, I already do. <laughs> Jesse Pinkman has entered the chat. This is the only time you can use this meme in a literal sense. Now, most people, <laughs> myself included, would have naturally written this post off as bait in obvious troll, except that he posted a picture of himself smoking meth. I'm not gonna show it for monetization reasons, but <laughs> I ran this through a reverse image search. This is legit. <laughs> we always make jokes like, wow, that's crazy. That thing you just said, what are you high on crack? Methamphetamines? This guy is, he is. <laughs> you know, this guy could really use some help from that's the sponsor really of today's video, BetterHelp. No. The largest online therapy provider. It's a scam, dude. Hot takes from uh... It's been proven in the past. I wish people would look into their sponsors before they take them. I agree. Sorry, act man, but ugh. console fanboys taking a toll on you mentally, or do you deal with actual real problems like a normal person? Then you should consider getting some better help. Fanboy, an easier, I, I more accessible form of therapy. Fanboys. You can have I sessions through phone, video chat, messaging, no whatever works for you. They have over 30,000 therapists in their network and you have access to them no matter where you live. And if you feel your therapist isn't the right fit, you can switch easily at no additional cost. Fellas, it's okay to talk about your feelings. Therapy really can help and it has helped me in the past. It's time to take back control of your life and start living a better, healthier life in 2024. And if you use my link betterhelp.com slash actman, I'll get you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp and you'll be supporting the channel. That's betterhelp.com slash actman, link in the description. Thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring Sponsoring this video. And now for something completely different. <laughs> the timing on that buffering could not have been any better. Unless, I'm frustrated, except but. Except if it didn't happen. That was the only way. <laughs> also, he's not the person. Also, I've seen like two to three other channels now use that exact same transition, and now for something completely different. Yeah, I've seen that before as well. Yeah. Oh, please. Don't tell me this is one of the bad ones. Watch the internet be out for like an hour and just completely blow up this session. Yeah, at least we've done basically everything but the last video. But I won't be able to upload anything. True. And that'll be a Bitch. Oh. Thank God. Now how about them Xbox fanboys? What are they up to? Hashtag justice for Starfield. Hashtag fuck the game awards. Hashtag Xbox. Hashtag Starfield. Ooh, this is getting good. They want you to believe this. <laughs> is better than this. It's a matter of opinion. Who gives a shit? 
Don't watch the Game Awards. Console fanboyism is a serious and growing epidemic. It is known to cause scarlet brain rot. Scientists are hard at work searching for a cure, but as of this moment, sadly, none exists. Look, actually, man, there's nothing. It does. And you all aren't going to like the answer. I used to be a PlayStation fanboy, and then I became a PC master race. <laughs> yeah. Hate to say it, but once you get up to being on the level of PC, you're just like, wow. It's really stupid how everybody argues over which chunk yeah. of plastic is better for playing games on. Yeah, just and I know that. that there's like some... Not... <clears throat> what? So it's really be it's really stupid how everybody argues over which chunk of plastic's better for playing games on when they could just you know not yeah just actually go play games. <laughs> <clears throat> I agree, and here's my thing about it is just like I know there's some co some PC asshats out there who are just like y if you don't got the most recent graphics card, don't even message me. Okay, I won't. I'll fucking sit it home playing my video games and ignoring you because you don't have any bearing on what I have fun with or not. Exactly. It's like, but but I have an exclusive chat. Have fun with that. Cool. Yeah. You can stay the fuck out of mine. Exactly. Like, but I have the best graphics card, so you should let me in. No. No. You're a dick. Mm -hmm. Why would I let you in? wrong with liking starfield i have some very critical opinions on the game however there's some things i really enjoyed about it but why why would you pick the most boring fucking clip possible to try and make your case you made the game look worse than it actually is also why pick mario wonder as as your target are you trying to say something like oh starfield's for mature badass hardcore gamers Pretty and much. mario's that's just kitty stuff is that the them, they, like looking at that mario clip just looks like you know, a kid's game that doesn't have any depth to it. Yeah. Also, one of the it's quote retweets said... look, basically. Yes. You know, you could have asked for permission before taking my footage for this terrible oh. video. <laughs> Instead of posting cringe on main, you could have said something like, you know, I like Starfield. And I don't have to prove anything to the people that disagree with me. Right? 12 seconds eh. later. Is it so difficult to just shut the motherfucking hell up about a game that was never meant for you in the first place? Starfield is for Xbox fans! It's on PC, guys. You, my friend, are full of shit. Fuck off! It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? My brother in Stendar, Todd Howard, has spent the last 12 years trying to sell Skyrim to everyone, and he has succeeded. 60 million copies in the seventh best selling game of all time. Of course he made Starfield to appeal to as many people as possible. What are you, fucking stupid? Yes. Imagine trying to gatekeep something so widely accepted as a Bethesda RPG. <laughs> Especially from someone who's a clear fan <clears throat> of Bethesda RPGs. This is a great video, by the way, by Nakey Jakey. It feels <laughs> like this person's sense of identity and worth is directly tied to this thing that they enjoy, and they personally take offense when other people don't feel the same way. This is an extremely... This, the, yeah. Yeah, that's literally just like no one ha having zero nuance and zero critical thinking skills. This is basically what's happened to people nowadays is given the advent of the internet and like our thought process nowadays and how we've been educated. It's like, it's like anyone who agrees with us, welcome to the fold, brother. Anyone who thinks different than us, get the fuck out of here. It's literally how it is. No nuance, no discussion, no nothing. It's like, you don't believe the same thing as me? 100%. <laughs>
<sighs> unhealthy mindset to have by the way when are all you fucking bastards gonna stop saying mean things about 50 cent bulletproof okay <laughs> fuck off that game wasn't made for you i'll be in touch if you hear anything and by the way you're out of orange juice yeah yeah have some self-respect for yourself guys do not be a console fanboy hold on i just saw something I can't wait to stream Wolverine with my milkers out. I'm sorry, I saw that, I was like, ah. Do not be a console fanboy, trust me. Oh, here's a spicy take. This is disturbing. Young men prefer playing video games over casual sex. <sighs> wow, it's disturbing that like, all of us want to just go out and risk SC, STDs and pregnancy and, and like all these people other shit like fucking go fucking bonk shit bat shit crazy on you because they thought that the casual sex was more than casual sex and that they're supposed to be your girlfriend now or whatever this is indeed a disturbing universe holy Shut base up, batman what a study men are getting smarter men are finally realizing that starting your third playthrough on red dead redemption 2 will be a much more fulfilling experience than hooking up with some chick you never want to see talk to interact with or hear from ever again indeed. hey jessica um exactly i know this is a little late but i'm gonna have to cancel on tonight family emergency something really important just came up and i can't worthy, put it off I gotta, very worthy like like that's very worthy in my opinion that is a worthy take take care of it right now i mean this isn't really a hot take but it is kind of funny like everything in life including video games casual sex is something to balance sometimes it can be good fun and sometimes it is a complete waste of time it's kind of like chasing a more the latter than the former I'm just saying, I went through all that shit in my 20s, and I gotta be honest, I didn't like feeling like, I didn't like the feeling that it gave me for so long, and it took me a long time to realize I don't need it, I don't need that bullshit in my life. Well, it caused a lot of drama with some people for me, and then... Did me too. For, like, others, it, like went on long enough that like i started catching feelings that they weren't catching back and so i just had to cut myself off and just be like yeah i have to go on with something oh, else because they i don't want to be here whenever i'm <clears throat> being made to feel the way that i'm being made to feel right well, now and there's nothing that's going to come of it you know well the thing is the girl caught feelings for me and i didn't feel the same way and she basically just asked me if i'd ever care about her and I went too far whenever I... Uh, I gotta be honest, guys, and I was a dick back in my 20s. I was a bit of a dick. And I, and I should have been more gentle when it came to telling her, sorry, but I'm not interested. I mean, a lot of dudes would probably be like, why would you complain about this? But you, if you've never been in that situation, you don't understand. Exactly. But... but I basically got to have a free trial of what it would be like to be with someone that I would want to be with for like the rest of my life and marry. Yeah. And whenever I started to realize I was feeling that way about this person, about how much I loved hanging out with them in their apartment and like how cool they were and all this stuff. And then I realized that they only cared about the casual stuff with me. And that's and how it they goes. Didn't feel the same about me in terms of like a relationship. It started to get really depressing really fast. Yeah. So yeah. I just pieced out and stopped interacting that way with her. So that's how it goes. High rank in League of Legends. I can make this joke. I was in the top 1.4% of North American players at one point. I was getting zero pussy. All right. So <laughs> this next one is. Uh -oh. You smell it. That smell. The kind of smelly smell. The smelly smell that smells. Smelly. This is what good Damn. parenting looks like. The dad, not the mom. Alright, Chief. Time for homework. One more level. You got a book report, buddy. 
I'll do it later. Classic book report. I don't know if schools still do this, but nothing was more procrastinated than the mandatory summer book report. It's late. Mom said I could stay up. Hmm, I should probably speak to my wife about this so that we appear to be on the same page and do not argue in front of our child, leading them to speculate on which of us he should listen to. Hey! Turn it off. I can't see. Turn it off. Mom, tell your husband to move. Oh! oh. oh. See, see, this kid's such a dick. He's such a dick, he deserves what's coming to him. Just let him finish, honey. Hmm. Nah, fuck this kid! Yes. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Vance, this is your moment. Everyone in the room thinks you're a total badass. Oh, my penis is so big. So big. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at how fucking cool I am. Yo, I just made a statement. Book report. Now! Here's the thing. I find myself agreeing with that to a certain degree, but... Number one... My dad would not have destroyed something that cost money, whether it cost me money or it cost him money, he would never do something that stupid. Instead, he would have literally unplugged it while I was playing it, he would tell me why, and he would literally just be like, you can play this tomorrow whenever you get home and you finish your homework, okay? Okay. Understood? Now go do your homework. And honestly, this is an extreme that is just... I mean, you would be like my parents and you would set the boundary that, like, you don't get to get on your video games until your homework's done. Yeah. Like, that's your reward for finishing your homework, you know? Yeah. You then have free time to do what you want with it, but homework has to be the number one priority. And that's, and that's how my parents were. So kids should have and never turned that thing on in the first place with a book report that needed to be done still. Exactly. And, my, and the thing is, this is, I know that this is like a power fantasy for like, you know, it's like, this is good parenting on the death. No, no it's, it's not. not. There's a thing, there's a simple thing. It was thing. good parenting up until he did the last bit. Yeah. When he did the last bit with the ripping of the, of the console, throwing it in the trash and pouring milk all over it. It's like, dude... No, good parenting in this situation that you could get a similar sense of satisfaction from and a good vibe from would be... Walk downstairs to the breaker, find the one that goes to the TV and the Xbox. And then... Come they, back upstairs. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's not working right now? Well, I guess it's time to do your book report then. Yeah. And then... It's like, hey, you get to not look like a violent, psychotic asshole, and you still get the satisfaction of being like, what I say in my house fucking goes, dude. Yeah. My dad basically had the come to Jesus moment with me whenever <clears throat> I mouthed off to him about how it's just like, you don't understand. And he's just like, oh, I, I don't understand. Okay, let me ask you. Do you understand that I pay I pay the mortgage on this house? I paid for the electricity, I paid for your clothes, I paid for the food on the table that you eat every single day. I drive, like, we drive you to and from school with gas that your mother and I buy, and you're gonna sit here and you tell me I don't understand because you're playing your stupid game. And then he grabbed, I remember he walked, he reached over, he unhooked it, he unhooked it from the back of the TV, and then he basically, like, grabbed the controller out of my hand, and he said, you can get this back tomorrow whenever you finish your homework. Okay? Okay. And he went downstairs, put it in their closet, and basically that was that. My dad was a very stern individual, and he whipped me whenever I deserved it, but whenever, you know, something like this came up, he was very intelligent about how he handled it, and in terms of just, like, Making you realize, like, making you realize just how insignificant your, like, your time gaming is compared to everything else that's going on, and you needing to do what needs to be done for school comes first. And I respected that. Looking back on it now as an adult, I'm like, my dad did it right. My dad didn't resort to destroying anything or... Acting like a psychopath, like Breck Meyer is in this. 
Yeah, by the way, that's Breckenmeyer from you know the Gar the early Garfield movies. Oh boy. <clears throat> but anyway, you know, when I'm a parent, like I'm never gonna be destroying a kid's gaming thing. No, I'm at the like worst case scenario, like I can't get them to listen to me and do what I want. to be like, well, you know, I always wanted a PlayStation in my man cave anyway, so they you know, just let me take this downstairs. It's like, it's like, well, it's you mine know for now. Well, it's like, uh, and if the kid's just like, where are you going, with my console? Your console? Hmm. Let me ask you, who paid for this console? <laughs> exactly. Who paid for those games that you're playing right now? That extra controller that you had, that you got, you made me get because of you wanting to have your friend come over when your friend has never come over to play with you once. Let's go downstairs. Uh, anyway. Oh my god, I married a complete fucking psycho. I'm gonna have to go through another divorce. Okay, so for those in the back that did not get the memo, good parenting is as follows. If your child does not listen to you, destroy something they love in front of them. If you think this is good parenting, might I recommend a life of celibacy? Perhaps a vasectomy? Stiff stop, stiff stop, stiff stop! No way would this type of behavior ever create some type of long-standing resentment. You ever wonder why your child always had sleepovers at every other kid's house and not yours? Yeah, you are the reason why. Look, we have to acknowledge what this is. Rage bait. And yes, I am falling for it. There are people that think this is genuinely what a strong, dominant male father... That is setting boundaries. He should have warned him before. Offering options. All... Yeah. This, once again, this is Figure rage is bait. Like. Yeah. No. This is the house that none of your friends want to go to. But, you know, if the father did the right thing and simply took the power cord, well, this clip wouldn't have gone viral. The director's sitting behind the scenes like, no, 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 we gotta ham this up with drama. Rip that fucking console out of the wall. Make a big ass scene. Throw it in the trash can. Pour milk on it. Why stop there? Get out the gasoline from the lawnmower. Pour that shit in there. Set it ablaze. Watch the house burn down with your child in it just to show him not to wait to do his fucking book report. That's what a, that's what a real dominant father would do. Oh, now, boy. I've been teasing you long enough. It's time to get into the juicy stuff. You know society is in its final stages when a new GT GTA game comes out and people aren't saying the dumbest shit ever about it. It's tradition. In Grand Theft Auto, your son or your husband or your boyfriend or whoever can hire a prostitute, have sex with her, and then beat her to death with a baseball bat. When a police officer comes after him, he can either let light that police officer on fire or cut him in half with a chainsaw. I missed that one. You can't really cut anyone in half in the game. Not in any of them. Not in, not even the modern ones. Now, I know, and plus there was no chainsaw in Grand Theft Auto 4. So not to, not to mention, like, how many young kids that actually did get a hold of the game do you think went straight over and bought a prostitute, banged her, and then beat the crap out of her and took the money back? I didn't even think about doing something like that until I was, like, older and heard other people talk about it. <laughs> I'll be honest. When I first, when I was playing GTA Three, my friend, my my, I call him my friend. I fucking hate him. Um, my friend at the time recommended that, hey man, when the prostitute gets out of your car, run her over and get your money back. Does that work? He's like, he's like, worked for me. I'm like, huh. So I did it, got my money back. I'm like, huh, cool. But thankfully, later on, they basically made it to where, you know, regaining health is a lot easier because you can go and buy stuff from, like, a convenience store and regain your health that way. You know, like a, a soda or snacks, stuff like that. Meets a whole hell of a lot, meets a hell of a lot out of, like, you know, buying another prostitute. The game doesn't actually tutorial, like, <clears throat> into, like, getting your health regenerated that way either because i never realized it regenerated health until later on like i only ever did it this like one time just to be like ha, 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 that's funny oh, that you can do that you know yeah but and then like i realized i was like oh that regenerates your health interesting but like there were plenty of other ways already to regenerate your health that i didn't ever feel the need to do that yeah but sensationalization like this once again this is late night news at its worst this is when the last vestiges of that creeping, like, 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 
watch out for your children, watch out. Video games are, are destroying your children. And while we don't have that as much nowadays, instead news cycles report other innocuous things and pretend that that's the biggest issue. It's like, it makes no sense, but anyway. Entertainment? <laughs> This series always seems to ignite a debate around morality and should video games include X type of conversations. Now, of course, there's the low hanging fruit. Why are the Zionists at Rockstar Games releasing this sexualized video game for children in America? Get banned GTA 6 trending right now. Okay, so I did a little research on this guy, Jackson Hinkle, and apparently his claim to fame is spreading misinformation on social media. His Wikipedia page has six paragraphs about it. Yep, there it is. This user is known for spreading misinformation to boost engagements and interactions. Twitter is so scuffed. How does made up bullshit and blatant lies like this get 20,000 likes? Because of the idiots. Like, look at this. Here's the thing. You have to understand this. 20,000 idiots out there, in terms of the grand scheme of the population, and also there's probably a lot of bots out there too. Let's do the math on this. Okay, there are six, okay, actually seven billion people on the planet, right? Seven billion people on the planet. And let's take 1% of that. That's still 70 million people right there. That's not even, that's 1%. Okay, let's do, let's do, uh, here we go. Hold on. Let's do 0.001%. So here we go. Yeah, it's still 700,000. Here's the thing you need to understand. <clears throat> you seeing 20,000 on there, that doesn't mean that that's a massive swath of the population. That is a little iota of the population that has been that has been radicalized and are following this guy because guess what? There's a bunch of idiots out there. And a lot of them can be radicalized. Jesus. Rockstar Games does not stand with Palestine. Get banned GTA 6 trending. GTA 6 is Haram Zionist propaganda. This guy is making the community notes team work overtime. <laughs> Isn't it kind of crazy though, that you have people grifting GTA 6 by just like making up bullshit lies. And then you look at Jack Thompson and he had better rhetoric than this guy. Isn't that yes. insane? Jack Thompson was a nutcase. Yes. He wanted GTA banned because of the violence. Now, people want it banned just to get engagement on Twitter. That's in a it. response to a tweet- It's called clout chasing. About one user not playing any GTA games, the owner of Twitter, sorry, X. X. Elon Musk said, tried, but didn't like doing crime. GTA 5 required <laughs> shooting police officers. Just couldn't do it. There you are, robbing a bank in your crime bank. Oh no, are you really going back to extra? <laughs> God, that was such a brain dead take. Video game, and all of a sudden, you're a cop killer. You didn't ask for this. You didn't choose this. Yet there it is. Elon, I know exactly how you feel, man. I tried playing Counter Strike, right? But in my first match, I got I was put a on the side of the terrorist just couldn't do it i just couldn't plant that bomb and you know what else tried red dead 2 but i didn't like doing crime game required me to rob a train in chapter 2. i just couldn't do it <laughs> i'm sorry john elon musk when he boots up jet set radio future and has to spray graffiti on the walls no 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 wait 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> who the fuck buys a grand theft auto game and thinks I sure hope I don't have to shoot any any pixels that when combined resemble law enforcement. But don't worry, Elon. They're not real. Elon, Captain Brown Nose is here to back you up. I'm glad shooting cops in Cyberpunk 2077 is completely optional. Never finish GTA 5 either. Objection! Ian Miles Chong has written up to 255 Game Ranks articles covering GTA 5, including descriptions of personally killing or evading virtual police in the game's single player. <laughs> 
But here's my favorite response wow. to these tweets. The blue whale's vagina is now the second biggest pussy in the world behind you three. <laughs> 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 Here's the thing. I mostly like Elon Musk, but dude, that is a brain dead take, and you should feel bad for that take, Elon. Mm -hmm. It's a fucking video game. Dude. <laughs> You know, I'm getting pretty tired of video games being used as a chess piece in the culture wars by grifters like this. But this is the way It'll things always have happen. been and always will be. This is entertainment? Back in 2020, yes. Rockstar Games actually had a cops and robbers mode planned for GTA 5. But something else happened in 2020 and they shelved it. Uh, yeah. For understandable reasons. Probably not the best time to release a mode like that. But it's been three years, man, and there's still this dumb stigma around portraying cops and law enforcement in video games. If you can be a cop, oh, that's a problem. If you could shoot a cop, that's a problem too. If you can equip a police-themed nameplate, that's a problem. You can get it all out, remove it all. Oh boy, here we go. Andrew and Tristan Tate are against GTA 6's violent themes. Like I could give a flying fuck about what those two taint stains have to say. Wait, wait. Andrew Tate? Andrew Tate made a brain dead take? Oh my god. Stop the fucking presses. Holy that, shit. Oh, oh. I am so, so ridiculously surprised right now oh. that Andrew Tate said something that was brain dead. Yeah. I can't believe this. How did this happen? Well, honestly, if we're being honest, Andrew and Tristan Taint, yeah, you heard me. Andrew and Tristan Taint, they basically don't have any takes that I, I find myself even, like, I've heard them talk, and there's been points where I've just been like, you know, if they present that in a different way, it could actually be a good take, but their way of just being like, just being like, no, nah, I'm just a macho guy. I, I drive around Bugatti's, and, um, if you have a problem with that, then uh, you can uh, pose out. Uh, you can, you can fuck off. Meanwhile, he's you know smoking a stove. Uh, just and and he markets himself on this shit. People like he gets off on people hating him. That's what people don't get. Uh, anyway. New GTA 6 is out. Have you ever played any GTA? This is a genuine question. I've never played any of them. I believe that I played the first one. That's like a top-down, bird's-eye view, kind of 2D game without any real graphic violence back when I was maybe 10 or 11. You had a fuck ton of violence. violence. What are you talking about, Driss? Okay, so one of you has never played this series, and the other hasn't played it since it was a completely different genre. Now, now let's hear what these well-informed men, experienced GTA players, have to say about the series. Video games aren't necessarily evil. You know, my brother once told me that nothing someone says before the word but really counts. But you know, I remember when video games, because I'm very old, I remember when you used to play a little man in a red hat trying to rescue a princess and teaming up with your brother. Remember, remember when Mario was the thing? Remember, remember that, guys? My <laughs> God, man, it's like I'm so old. Uh, I mean, I'm used to playing games like, like, like Mario and 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 Legend of Zelda. I got some news for you. You broke out of a time capsule from 30 years ago. You're old. Now, if rescuing purity from evil while teaming up for your brother isn't a good theme of a video game, then I don't really know what is. I'm not a fan of anyone under the age of 18, 21 maybe, playing video games where the goal is to shoot police officers. This is entertainment? All these guys' heads would explode if you showed them Modern Warfare 2's campaign. This is the oh, same God. stupid argument that's been debunked countless times over the last 20, 30 years. I never thought in my wildest dreams that Andrew and Tristan Tate would start sharing the same talking points as Hillary Clinton and Jack Thompson. What else did the Goober brothers have to say? And to be GTA. honest, all these people like dissing on GTA 6, it's, it's like what I was telling you earlier. Like, I'm pretty sure that all of the discourse over Power World and how it has 
a lot of creatures in it that look like straight up Pokemon clones is actually helping it. Yes. Because there's a lot more people talking about it than there would have been otherwise. Yes. Um, the GTA is the same way. Like all these yeah. people talking about video game violence and shit when it comes out as to its controversy and thereby has more people talking about it, thereby it sells more copies. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. The controversy machine fuels everything. And this is, okay. Dude, dude like, Go ahead. Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, boy. Probably wouldn't have been nearly as successful as it was if everyone had just kept their mouths closed. Yeah. And here's the other thing, too. You know who is the best at marketing themselves for being infamous? And, like, being, like, just, I can't believe, like, they're still around. You know who's the master of that? And got so much money off of it. Not only that, made almost every member of their family billionaires. Fucking Kim Kardashian. Jesus. You want to talk about someone who mastered the art of infamy? You know, controversy. Oh, Kim K is in the in the new in the news for this this week. Oh, she's in the news for this this week. And it was like that for almost twenty fucking years. Eminem knew exactly what he was doing whenever he made his music because he wrote songs about it. Exactly! This looks like a job for me so everybody just, just follow, follow me because we, we need a little, little controversy because it feels so, so empty without, without me. me. Six. Okay. Which looks like a fun game. Yeah, it looks like a fun game. Do you know why it's fun? Because you can make a bunch of money and go around and do what you want and drive fast cars. Have a bunch of girls, but then you get to be big and strong, get to be a boss. It's true, you can do that in GTA 6, yeah. Tristan, don't you understand that our life is actually GTA 6? Incorrect. So you're saying that we could wake up and instead of looking at our GTA 6 garage of 12 to 13 cars that you've accumulated that are digital, that aren't real, we can look at our garage of 50 something cars which are real. We can drive them in real life to any city we want in the world. And I love how Tristan. Yeah, how'd that work out for you when you ended up in a Romanian prison for a bit for sex trafficking, though? And is like, I was really hoping he was going to stay there. I was hoping they were never going to let him go. Same. Games that let you shoot cops. I think that's bad for society. Meanwhile, me and my brother, we live GTA in the real world every single day. Sex trafficking included. Yeah. Are you high right now? What? My guy, you can't have both. You can't say people who play GTA 6 are losers and then try to say, we live this life every single day. You should you should follow what we say because we're as cool as the people in the GTA game that you play. Your children and grandchildren won't care about your video game accomplishments. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's see what the two time thinks about that statement. If you're going to dedicate time on a computer console to try and build up digital cards and digital fake money, in a digital fake world. Why not spend the same time on a computer console building up real cars and real money in the real world? I don't understand. Look at you, partner. not fun. You're pathetic. There you, you are buying- You understand the concept of fun. That probably explains why you have such a giant fucking log stuck in your asshole. Virtual horses and Red Dead 2. When you could be buying real horses in the real world, you could be building a real stable. You could be shoveling manure in the real world instead of living out your fantasy in one of them fancy smancy video games two billion dollars ten years of development it's all on the screen folks this guy says what's the problem this looks good yeah that's what i'm saying it, just check the replies it appears they don't allow people of color in this community ouch Ooh. i just checked that's the replies and yes, there is a clan meeting down there. Fuck. Like I said, almost everyone bitching about GTA 6 right now is doing it for some kind of grift. But using the power of racism to Tell grift Tell you one thing I know, my friend. Pressure. What's that? Everybody who's anybody of any kind of moral fiber definitely did horrible things to the clansmen in red dead redemption 2 oh game. yes dude. <laughs> I, you know what you know what i did as soon as i saw them as soon as i came across them i was like that same oh. dude as soon as i was there i was just like <laughs> i was looking at them and i was looking at them trying to light the cross i'm just like i cannot wait okay okay and i put on like the instinct thing where it slows down time and i literally sat back i was like how can i fuck this up for them in the worst way possible <laughs> and then 
I threw a stick of dynamite at the base of the cross, and I hear them, and they didn't notice it. <clears throat> it blew up, and then I came up, pow, 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 headshot all the way across, all the way up to the leader, and I came up to him, hogtied him, dragged him behind my horse for a good while, drug, drove him over to the train tracks, put him on the train tracks, and I waited. That's all I did. And you know what? I, I sat there and I watched as the train ran him over. And I literally was just like, I'm doing God's work. I'm doing the Lord's work. And engagement? It's a bold strategy, <clears throat> Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. It's all so tiresome. At this point, I'm not sure what to be more worried about. The fact that you made a collage of every black person in the trailer, you actually took time out of your day to do that, or the insinuation that seeing black people in video games is tiresome. Also, they're saying, also Vice City is based on Florida. Like, the surrounding Vice City area is based on Miami and the surrounding areas. Have you been to Miami? Do you not know how many black people live in fucking Miami? Jesus Christ, dude. It's literally like the equivalent of the people complaining about games set in like medieval Eastern Europe and how there's not enough black people. And it's just like, that's how it was there. Then. It's literally, there were literally no black people there. And if there were, then they were like, they were passing through. That's it. My boy Commander Carl asked the question on everyone's mind. Seeing black people in a video game is tiresome for you? Thank you, Carl, once again mm -hmm. with a W take. The guy below him there is like, there. realism is tiring for you? Seeing black people? Yeah, Karim Jovian, yeah. People in a video game is tiresome for you? Do I? Sounds a little bit there. racist, but... Check the replies. Oh! Jesus Christ. Oh. One of my favorite tweets out of all of this. What the fuck is up with the extreme unchecked racism on this app? <laughs> no, it's checked. It's just, you know, it has the blue check sometimes. But there are people who do call out the bullshit racism. I do a lot whenever I'm on there. Whenever I... W w that was the whole thing is when Elon bought the thing, he pretty much did away with most of the actual rules. Like, well, he was trying to promote like freedom of speech, freedom of speech for people who are being suppressed just for having differing opinions from other people. But it opened it up for all of the worst people in the whole fucking world to be able to use it for a platform to. Well, here's give the their thing that you need to understand. Well. well, here's the thing you need to understand about that though. I would rather have that than an overreach, which is what we had before on Twitter. Dude, I'm all for letting these motherfuckers out themselves. Yeah, exactly. So I can know who the fuck to avoid. Yeah, it's like, oh, wow, like, you know, they, they there's dudes being really fucking racist on here. Cool. Let's stay away the fuck away from them, you know? Exactly. Let them stay over there on their corner of the internet. Meanwhile, I'll be over here in Awesomeville with all my boys and we'll be enjoying life. <laughs> It's just so blatant. They're just, they're just flat out saying, yeah, we don't like black people in video games. What? Are you, are you out of your mind? Yet again, like, I partially wonder, like, there, there's a lot of stuff that happens nowadays that appears to be, like, people that are supposedly on a certain side of the aisle politically. Uh-huh. And they're acting like the most morally reprehensible people possible. And I'm like, how many of those people are actually asshats from the opposite side of the aisle pretending are... to be on that side of yeah. the aisle? Well, you get both that. Pretending to act like absolute scum just okay. to give that side a bad look. Well, you get both that and you also get the trolls mm. who do it, who don't believe in the shit, but do it just to just get... do it for the lulls. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying like... Like, there aren't racist people out there. I've met some, yeah. and I want nothing to do with them. I, I honestly, I, for instance, there was a wrestling school that I was involved with, and a certain individual who runs the place, uh, basically turned out to be a gigantically racist asshat, 
And he was really good at hiding it. And, by the way, I'm not talking about Ricky Morton. No, Ricky Morton was fucking cool. Ricky Morton was awesome. And the fact... and. I'm sad at the fact that I'm not able to work with him anymore because he's under contract with this guy and basically he owns Ricky's name, which is the only reason why Ricky Morton has to keep going back to that wrestling school. But, yeah, needless to say... <sighs> basically, with the whole like Hogwarts thing, there's a lot of suspicions that a lot of the people that were raising a stink about it and trying to act like they were going to actually straight up bully people and do horrible things to people were probably actually people from the right side of the aisle that were pretending to be the left to make the left look bad. Yes. This could actually be a case of this the could be people from the left side of the aisle pretending to be people from the right side of the aisle acting like extreme racists to try to make the right side of the aisle look bad. Yes. And I wonder, oh, it, it, I, they're probably not all like that. There's probably some no. legitimate fucked up people on both sides. Oh, 100%, cases, dude. But, like, 100%. It makes you wonder. You know, that's always a potentiality on the internet. You never really actually know a person online unless you've met them in person. That's true. Can you imagine how tiresome it would be if there was a GTA game, let alone two, where you actually played as a black guy? Oh, my God. That would just, oh. It would be so exhausting. On the real though, can you imagine what people would be saying on Twitter if San Andreas released today? GTA 6 looks like modern day America. I thought people played video games to escape reality. That's a troll post. How do we tell them? No, no, it can't be. Wait a minute. Grand Theft Auto is a parody of America? <laughs> Always has been. We've had. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's, yeah. <laughs> For, like, over 40 years. And there's people that still don't get it. They still don't understand that video games can be an escape from reality and an extension of it. Yes. The truth is a lot of the people who detract from these games and are their most outspoken critics don't actually play them and certainly aren't the target market. They don't seem to play up the fact or understand that it's humorous, that this is a fictionalized take on reality that's the same sort of thing that you would see in a movie like Scarface or Carlito's yes. where classic mobster films like Heat mm. or even The Godfather. You don't hear people talking about how terrible The Godfather is and it's no different in terms of the bloodshed and level of violence. Whoa! It's kind of like gets movies. Galaxy brain take, ladies and gentlemen. Like a literal good one. Mm -hmm. Documentaries? Uh... Pretty much every single type of media on the planet. Good God. Also, shouldn't this be a compliment that the place GTA 6 is based on, Miami, looks like the place it's based on yeah. with accurate demographics? Isn't it weird how it used to oh, be? Here's the fun thing, by the way. What? Everyone who doesn't actually live in Miami doesn't always get to go to Miami in real life. That's true. So, I mean, I've never been to Miami. If I I've play been. GTA 6, I'm going to get to see it, you know? Like, I, I mean, I've been to Miami. I played, I, I played Vice City, so technically I've already seen it in that one. Well, but I mean, like, no, this, I, this updated form, you know, it's going to be the closest I've ever been to going there. I've been to Miami, and I will say this. Traffic there is God-fucking-awful. Any Miamians out there who know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Sheesh. But here's the thing. I go to Miami in real life. And I go seek out a big ass alligator, and then I try to become friends with it and put it in the back of my car. Bad things are gonna happen. Yes. If I do that in Grand Theft Auto, it's fucking hilarious. It is. <laughs> like, just be like, just like, like, come here. All of a sudden, you pick up the gator. You got the little thing wrapped around his uh, his snout, and you're just like, I'm gonna name you Eustace. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have some fun. And then you turn him loose in a you turn him loose in a gas station or a freaking like a dine in restaurant. Through the Wendy's drive through. Oh yeah, that thing that one of the Florida guys actually did do in real life. I guarantee you that everyone's gonna go on the Florida Man subreddit, copy everything off the Florida Man subreddit, and try and recreate it in GTA. I, 6. I really, really hope that that Rockstar is already doing a fuck ton of the Florida Man stories. I know? hope so too. Like, I hope there's a random event where you'll be pulling up to the clucking bell and you'll watch a guy chuck an alligator in yeah. the drive through window because that would be amazing. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's just like, we need you to go back there. We need you to take care of that alligator. It's like, like, why me? It's like, well, 
You're well. It's like you, you. We pay you for protection, so you're here. To, so you're supposed to protect us. You go back there, and you know there's a humane like there's a humane way to take him out. And then there's like a like a bad way to take him out. You know, like I I don't, I'd want to choose the humane way because it ain't his fault. It's the asshole's fault who tossed him through the window. <laughs> so instead, humane way, walk up to him, wrestle him, and then you take him take him out out to the Everglades and turn him loose. That'd be my. That'd be what I would like to do. Resident Evil Five is racist because it's set Ugh. in Africa and there's black zombies, and now it's yeah, GTA Six as well. Take back then. Well, here's the thing: they actually added in more white zombies to try and diversify it a little bit. I hate to say it, but why are you turning black people white? When I'm sorry, but where they were at in Africa is basically like 99.999% black. If I was of Spanish descent, I would have been so pissed off. Whenever the people started being like, I'd be like, where the hell were all of you when four came out? Yeah. Like Louis, you guys are mad about this, but you're not mad about all the Spanish people that got fucking killed in four. Well, no, cause here's the thing. It wasn't actually black people who were mad about Resident Evil five. It was cushy liberal white exactly. people who were writing editorials for these magazines back when the game Hence first came out. That's why I would be mad as a Spanish person if I was, you know. I would just be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Why weren't you guys upset for us? Well, like, it's that's because... That's kind of fucked up. Well, 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 it's because most of the zombies were, were uh, you know, were white or Caucasian or... It's like... It's like... Stupid. So stupid. Because it's set in Miami and there's black people. So in a response to this screenshot with all the black people in the GTA 6 trailer, here comes Ian Miles no. Dawn and says, you can shoot all of them. Told me to take mine off too, dude. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Mop, 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 mop. Easy, Archer. I'm sorry. What the fuck is up with the extreme unchecked racism <laughs> on this guy? So let me get this right. You're willing to write guides on how to kill and evade virtual cops in GTA. But but now shooting cops is icky and it crosses the line. However, you're totally fine with being able to shoot all the black people you want. You don't actually believe a goddamn thing, dude. It's no. all just a grift. It's all it GTA is. 6 main character is a trans woman, claims fake rumor. People make up stuff for rage clicks. Quite the meta title, huh? Yeah, I know, right? Huh? The new rumors circulating after the release of the oh, GTA boy, 6 Timmy. trailer is What's that the protagonist is in fact not female, as many people have suspected, but is a woman in that the main character of Grand Theft Auto 6 is trans. Um... No? Don't believe there's been any confirmation of that whatsoever. No. Uh, I think this is fun, just absolutely not true. Uh, the rumor comes from basically nowhere. By the way, exactly. the rumor he's referencing comes from a Reddit post with zero upvotes. Wow. Okay, I've heard of reaching. That's not just reaching. That's literally you removing your arm at the socket and reaching with it out at the end of your other arm still... Dude. Yeah, I was waiting because it's Timcast. I was just waiting. I was like, oh boy. So, what's going to be the. Where's the rub? Here? Yeah. And this is the rub. It's because people like Tim's cast and a lot of other channels, <clears throat> they got a following based off of being anti woke whenever the anti woke stuff was actually being batshit insane for like a couple of years. Yeah. They now ran out of content because a lot of those fucking batshit insane people like got 
mocked into oblivion and don't have the same platform and following they used to. And have. now they had to resort to sensationalism. It's like, you know, Anita Sarkeesian's fucking, like, irrelevant. Oh, yeah. Point. Like, she can't say a thing without the whole Anita, internet Brianna, rolling her eyes at uh, What's her name? She's going around scamming people that don't realize what she is still, but, like, Ugh. she doesn't have any fucking clout anymore. Nobody no, respects her. Um, oh, so, it took almost, what, But now years? that, like, all of those people have been basically shut down and they've faded into irrelevancy and there's not as much stuff, the people like Tim Cass ah, and all the people who got a following based off of that have to fucking reach everywhere to find any kind of news for their audience. Because they got to maintain that level. That's why they I res- maintain that level, it's just like... Fuck. That's why I respect the ones that used to do that kind of thing that swapped... To, like, okay, well, there's no news there, so now I'll just cover what there is news on. Like... Yeah. I can't think of any good examples, because one of the ones that I had, I recently finally was just like, yeah, this is just too much. He's still doing the same thing now. Like, so... Uh, I would respect it if people would just be like, okay, nothing happened today, therefore I will cover something that did happen somewhere else, you know? It's like, switch topics, because the topic's fucking dying now, you know? Exactly. It's like, thank God, even, things are a little less crazy. But I think that cla- keep making it up right. like they always are, even if they're not. Yeah. Classifies as a rumor. That's that's a myth. You've upgraded to myth. Despite acknowledging that this rumor is basically nonsense, he's still trying to spin his audience a yarn about how how it might kind of be woke because you play as you play as woman you've got the people complaining that it's a female protagonist and uh i i I gotta be honest with you you know personally i don't want to play a female character uh it's not i I don't know if it really matters but i don't care personally nobody cares about what you want to play tim like tim okay you don't want to play as i don't care i want to play as a female honestly i don't care male character female character hell i played as Lara croft she's a badass I play as I play as like all these characters that are male and female, and you know what? You know what the unifying my, factor about them all is? They're good characters. Ninety percent of my characters I create and character creators are female, and I'm a straight cis man. So you know why they're female? Because they're pretty to look at. Like staring at a girl's butt for. 60 to 100 hours is a lot more enjoyable than staring at a I've, I've heard that. Guy. I've heard that that's a good reason why a lot of people do that. So, I mean, like, if that's I accidentally we- pop my pants off in Cyberpunk, I don't get flashbang with a dong. Oh. You know? <laughs> like, and, and say it's like, just- whoops, I accidentally took my panties off. Better put those back, I guess. I don't want to be running around Night City naked. Weird in my mind. Like, this lady's gonna run up to a random guy in the street and punch him, and he's gonna go down? Nah, come on. This is entertainment? Have you, like, bro, have you ever played a fighting game? Chun Li's thighs would like a word with you. <laughs> Yo, if your average woman wrapped your average guy and swung a fist at him, it's not gonna hurt him. Okay, so you play as this character, you run up and punch a random guy, and then he just clocks you in the face one time, you go down wasted. You lose all your HP instantly, and then you wake up outside the hospital. Also, throughout all these clips of people oh, saying it's boy. woke because you play as a female, uh, they all seem to ignore the obvious Bonnie and Clyde theme that Rockstar has gone for. Like, like they just kind of ignore that Lucia is only one of two playable protagonists and that you can play as a man. I love how Tim in a different clip says this. All I do is I just, I, I, I get the cheat codes. What I love doing, and I think it's GTA 5, is activating super punch and super jump and invincibility. And then I just have the guy run around and punch people and they go boom and they go flying. That's all I care about. I, I never once have ever... Tim. You literally play in the most unrealistic way possible, and yet you're trying to say that, oh, it's unrealistic to play as a girl because she'd just get knocked out by any guy. And you've never seen a female MMA fighter take a punch from someone before? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, even women have been hit by dudes before, and they've actually taken the punch and not gone down immediately. Yeah. They're not all made of glass. Or not only that, but they're good at dodging, like Valentina Shevchenko. Valentina Shevchenko is one of the like most like one of the most elusive fighters out there. And here's the thing: you try and hit her, like that's the thing. It's like you, she, like you'll hit nothing but air because next thing you know, she's going under. Not only that, but she's gonna calf kick you into oblivion. Here's the thing: have you ever been calf kicked? Oh no, you're Temple. You've never been calf kicked. I've been calf kicked. 
I've been calf kicked by a woman, and I've been calf kicked by a man. And you know what? It hurts both ways. You know why? Because calf kicks are basically a cheat code for anyone who wants to win a fight. If you know how to throw a good calf kick, and there are women out there who do know how to throw good calf kicks, you're going to have a bad time. I'll also just say, like, women have higher pain tolerance than men. Like, in, a lot, in some ways, yeah. I mean, it, I guarantee you, if I took a woman who has given birth before... Oh, that's... The, no doubt about that, dude. And fucking Tim... And I held a blowtorch to both of their arms at the same time. There'd be a good percent chance which one of them's going to scream first. Probably. I don't know. In terms of extreme circumstances like that, it's just... I don't know. All I'm saying is that... I'm saying consensually, obviously. It's like, the blowtorch will be under your arm. Which one can you? Which one of you can hold your arm over it longer? Probably the woman who's given birth before, because she has a bit of higher pain tolerance, I would think. Probably. Probably. But, all in all, dude, I just... Either way, it's a just, game, dude. Yeah. It's a game. He's literally the like rage bait channel at this point, anyways. Never play GTA in any legitimate way. I always just run around and do random nonsense. He admits like, well, I still have played... a friend who watches him, and every time he sends a clip from him, I'm just like, "There's something about him I don't fucking like," and I can't put my finger on it. But like, anytime someone else points it out, I'm just like, "That, that's what I don't like." Yeah. So fucking intellectually dishonest. He's GTA 5. Well, he used to work for Vice, so there you go. With the Since... most ridiculous cheats turned on that allow him to punch people and send them flying miles away. But the second that a female is able to punch a dude and the dude goes down, that's when his imagination turns off. That's too ridiculous, man. Now we're, now we're getting into woke territory. Right now, the real story is that people want GTA 6 to be woke. Yeah, who who on earth would do that? Who on earth would want this game to be woke? What sort of content creators would profit most? People really, really want the narrative because the that you want that narrative so that you can make videos. Narrative drives clicks. The rumor is that the protagonist is transgender. Ah, I love it. I wish it were true, and I could uh, 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 I could run the headline just like they did because it gets a lot of clicks. <laughs> So, <laughs> let me get this straight. You want the thing that your audience hates to be in the game so you can tell your audience why they should hate it. Because it gets a lot of clicks. Who's that Pokemon? Oh, God. It's Grifter. Grifter. <laughs> Grifter. Yeah. All right, I want to throw this last minute edit in. It's all right if you play GTA with cheats, you don't do the main story, and you just fuck around. That's totally fine. But you can't critique the game on a deeper level if you don't engage with it on a deeper level. Okay? Bathrobe man, out. You see, people like this want to appear like they stand against woke culture invading the media they love. But in truth, Tim is a person who thrives and profits off of woke culture. Because it gets a lot of clicks. Which is why he brazenly admits that he wants mm -hmm. Lucia to be trans so he can make videos on why you should be mad about that. This is like this is like toilet bowl content, man. Yes. Now, if you actually wanted to make the argument that GTA 6 and Rockstar is getting woke, there are a couple articles that talk about certain things, like them removing some transgender jokes and cleaning up their frat boy culture. That's, that's an argument you should probably be citing instead of this fucking rumor from a Reddit post with zero upvotes. Yes, 100%. Not there are mention, things that you can I mean, talk about. How fucking scummy is it to be pissed off if the main character, Grand Theft Auto, happens to be trans this time around? Like, who cares? Fans worry GTA 6 will be woke. I didn't hear, like, a single person. Like, I, I heard one controversy come out of their <coughs> trans character in Hogwarts Legacy. And that was because someone put in a mod that untrans them. Oh, God. And it's just kind of like, who cares? Like, okay, yeah, it's slightly, like, jarring the first time you walk into a room and you hear a different pitch of voice come out of someone you didn't expect that pitch of voice from but after the fact they're a cool character it's like There's whatever nothing against them at all like why are people so fucking upset about the fact that people exist that are different from them 
I don't know, dude. There's a point where I just look at society and I'm like, like, do I have to be a part of this? After trailer is released, That's we'll play just a little like bit for you guys. Stuff like this a lot. Like eyes of the, the uh, GTA 6 trailer. Things that give me and then we'll hope. We'll talk about the game getting woke. You see it. Do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it right away. The game literally starts off with two women of color in prison. Yeah, that's basically it. And then it just shows you a bunch of shots. <laughs> but there's concerns. <laughs> what, dude? <laughs> Did you watch 20 seconds of this trailer and it's just like, all right, let's talk about minorities now. <laughs> no, that's basically it. And then it just shows you a bunch of shots. Then it just shows a bunch of shots. Yeah, about the world, about the game that we're all interested in seeing. And, and yet Tim is looking at this like, Women, minorities on screen, does not compute. The major question is whether or not the upcoming... Because once again, he's grifting for the people who are going to be mad about it. ...game will be woke, which refers to a heavy focus on political correctness and social justice commentary. Check out this article that he's referencing. Many players are concerned about the recent trend among game developers to include socio-political commentary in their games, which may seem out of place at times. It's Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. It'd be more concerning if there wasn't socio-political commentary in a fucking Rockstar game, yet none of these dingleberries would know that because none of them actually play through the fucking story. I feel like anything they, anytime they remake something, they just are like, and you know what this needs? Some gender queerty and just some more LGBT. Like, is this what anyone who plays this game wants? You know, maybe this is me throwing my own hot take in the maybe frying pan. Maybe don't but care I'm one way or the other. Like, on, it's GTA. not going to make or ruin the game to have more people that are LGBTQ in it than they have in the past games. Here's my thing with it. It's like, first off, why don't these companies create new IPs for these new characters to be in instead of, you know, just replacing them out? Right? South Park had a great bit about that in the uh, in their... Uh, most re some of their most recent stuff and oh by the way gta is basically the south park of the video game world i agree with that for the most part they're not going to go woke because they've always made fun of everyone i well much. here's in the thing. fact i remember in grand theft auto 3 like there were lgbt people in there and they were probably making fun of them to an extent but like i remember you know dudes walking by on the sidewalk bass ass baby at me i'm like the fuck? <laughs> you know? Yeah. And and here's the thing with all of the like the thing with it. A couple years ago, GT or you know, Rock, Rockstar did a whole thing, a whole seminar, and the people were just like I forget which game award it was or not game awards, which gaming convention it was set at. But basically it just turned into them, you know, jerking each other off about how diverse they are now. I'm like, huh. Look, I'm not against you all, like, you know, just making more diverse games about different things and this and that, blah, blah, blah. But if you're just going to tokenize yourselves and fillet each other on, like, on live, like, live stream for, like, two hours straight. Yeah, it was a two-hour stream of them just, like, going over, just them going over, like, how, like, how diverse they are now. It's like, look, dude, Cool. All well and good. Are you going to show us a trailer for GTA 6? No? Okay. See, that's, that's one of the things I was trying to remember of, like, the other things that GTA, or that Rockstar has done that's, like, why is everybody suddenly, like, acting like they got all of this faith in Rockstar for Grand Theft Auto 6, you know? <sighs> I don't know. It's like, hopefully it's good, but... Well, if the gameplay is anything like this, I'm in. But we'll see. Six to do what GTA has always done: satirize and parody American culture in all its different forms. Yep. Woke culture is part of American culture, and I hope they make fun of it. I hope they also make fun of conservatives who are overly concerned about violence in video games for the seven millionth time. This is entertainment. Yes. I want to see everything in GTA 6. I want there to be racist characters like Herbert Moon. And it's all the fault of the Jewish, British, Catholic, homosexual elite and their ideas. 
You know how satisfying it was to see him die in Undead Nightmare? People have already commented when they found out that the main character is going to be a single mom. They were like, oh boy. I love how he tries to paint single mom as like a controversial descriptor for a character when one of the main characters for Red Dead Redemption is a murderous outlaw avoiding child support. <laughs> This is, this is why you don't listen to people talk about video games who don't actually play the video games they're talking about. Well, they needed more representation in video games. They, they've just been crying out for it for years. Well, what I don't understand is why these companies do this because they know that's not their target audience. That's not what their, you know, viewership. See, here's the problem with Tim. He just got a bunch of people glad handing around him and a bunch of like talking heads that parrot the exact same thing back to him. There's no nuance. There's no one on his show that is going to challenge his view and call him on his bullshit. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. That has always been my problem with these big think, big talk tank kind of kind of podcasts and broadcasts and stuff like that. That's like the Logan Paul one. Like Logan Paul just wants to surround himself with people who's just going to talk big about it. Be like, be like, hey, yo, bro, saw you at your most recent WWE thing, man. You know, you were awesome there. It's like, yeah, I know, man. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of this, a lot of that. And, uh, yeah, but... That's why there's a good fucking reason I don't listen to political podcasts. No, I mean, either, because... that's what they all are. Yeah, they and any time... have people on that agree with them most of the time. It's like, when I listen to podcasts, I just listen to entertainment podcasts, because I don't need to hear echo chamber shit. I don't either usership wants. Rockstar typically does representation <coughs> and diversity extremely well. Look at the cast of Red Dead 2. Diversity and representation becomes a huge positive for a game like that because it's written so well and the characters are believable within the setting and time period. They offer a different slice of life. Like just purely from a financial point of view, you would think, huh, my users hate when I do this and they don't buy my game. I'm gonna stop doing this. Maybe they think the game is so good, the franchise is so good, it's going to sell no matter what, and they want to indoctrinate and give another perspective on life. Like, have you Jesus Christ, discount Corey Taylor here, coming in with his, with his bullshit take. You ever thought, hey, 15-year-old boy, have you ever thought what it was like to be a, a, a ex-convict single mother? <laughs> <laughs> you should. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> They're obviously trying to frame this Hispanic single mother ex-convict as a negative or as woke when that's like a really intriguing premise to me. It's not so different from a premise like Red Dead Redemption, right? How does this life of crime affect the child of said protagonist? Yeah. Yes, please explore that. Uh, hey, anybody ever watch The Sopranos or fucking Breaking Bad? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's about or, all you know, the steaming hot takes. Like, he wasn't single, but Grand Theft Auto V? Yeah. Michael had kids. And his life of crime definitely had a big effect on them. And it made it interesting. Yes. Like, and his kids were actually really fucking funny characters. Oh, God. Because I can take for one day. His daughter was such an airhead, and his, little, and his son... Such a little shit. My thing is like, people are flipping shit, and I mean, yet again though, like it's a it's a grifter. It's why are we even mad? Like, Temple's dumbass opinions don't affect our ability to try the game and form our own thoughts about it. It's a trailer. It's it's one trailer so far. Yeah. And it's not enough to glean anything about what the game is actually going to be like and what the quality of the game is going to be like. There wasn't even gameplay in it. Like, how do you claim to know all these things about it and, like, what the developers were thinking when they did them and stuff when it's not even fucking out yet? Don't know. It's just absurd. Yes, it is. I'm going to go pour acid on my face so I never have to look at Twitter again. But thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe to the Act Man for more awesome content. Don't forget to check out BetterHelp in the description and pinned comment. I feel bad for you, Act Man. Same, dude. I don't have to look at Twitter again because I don't have to do it for my job. So. Oh boy. Okay. He's so. kind of, you know, basing his content around some stuff that forces him to have to look at Twitter. So I feel bad for you, bro. I do too, but...
Well, I thank God we don't have to look at Twitter very often. <laughs> thank God. Uh, I'll well, stay there. It is, off of there. It is currently, uh, you know, we're an hour and 20 minutes into this video. I told you it was going to take at least an hour. Fuck you. I, yeah, you were right. I thought it would, but... I said it will take at least one to two hours. It took right in the middle. Yeah, almost. <laughs> so, yeah. Gaming hot takes that'll melt your brain. They didn't melt my brain, but they definitely did cause a little bit of smoke to come, like, puffing out the side. So... They just... More than anything, they make me concerned for people. Like, I'm concerned at the, at the level of intelligence that certain people seem to survive from day to day with. Intelligence? What's that? Exactly. That's that's my whole thing on it. Like, look. I'm concerned that there are people that are just allowed to go breed whenever they are the way they are. <laughs> know what I mean? Well, I hate to say it, but in a lot of ways we are living in the world that idiocracy had. I mean... I, I believe that that is the end destination for you, man some point yeah i think it's just gonna get worse and worse the more stupid people keep having stupid because stupid people aren't out yeah I mean, smart people aren't popping out 15 kids all the time you know yep whereas like stupid people aren't careful and they make more stupid people yep <laughs> so, that's yeah. literally it uh anyway so that's gonna do it everybody this was gaming hot takes that will melt your brain by the act man if you want to see more from the act man, hey, click his name in the title of the video. And until next time, I'm Nate. I am Nick. Y'all be good people. Peace.